Yo ninjas and Kayo, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you the footwork steps from the first to the seventh. I already made specific tutorials from the one step until the tenth step. If you wanna go more in depth, check them out. I'm gonna leave the playlist in the description. But if you just wanna learn them quickly without focusing too much on the technique, this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial, I didn't put the steps from the eighth until the tenth because they are a little bit more uncommon. They are not very used. They are not really necessary. The purpose of this tutorial is to be quick, to get straight to the point and to learn the basic footwork steps from the 1 to the 7. As I said, if you want to go more in depth, check the detailed tutorials that I already made. Once again, link is going to be in the description. Just for the one step, I'm going to show you different ways to do it because there is not only one way to do the one step. For many people, the one step is a specific move for some other people, the one step is something a little bit different. In my opinion, there are just more ways to do the one step. For the other steps instead, from the two step until the seven step, it's a little bit more clear and I'm just gonna show you one variation of each step. If you wanna learn more variations of each step, in the detailed tutorials that I made, I'm teaching you the main step, but also some variations of it. So check them out.
steps. One extra tip to make them better. When you are in the position zero, really use the position zero without your hands on the floor. It should be a brief moment, but if you do it, the footwork will look a little bit better. Even worse is if you stay with both hands on the floor, for example like this, or maybe like this. When you are forward in the position zero, or in this position here, or in this position here, one hand is always up. Even better when you are in the position zero, so in this position here, is if you stay with both hands up. When you are here, you wanna turn and switch. One extra tip, this tip is not mandatory, so you don't have to do it, but in my opinion, if you do it, the footwork will look better. When you kick in all the steps, don't just kick straight like this. So for example, when you start the six step, don't just do straight and hook, but it would be better if you try to form a circle with your legs. If you like the small style of footwork, do like very little steps, very sharp, I would recommend to stay a little bit smaller and to do it more like this. But if you want to make your footwork bigger, almost look like a power move, I really recommend kicking your legs in a wide circle. When I start the six step, I don't start just tuck and tuck, but I really kick my leg out in this direction and then I do a big circle. So I kick my leg out like this and then I straighten it and then I hook. Same thing also on the other side. So when I'm here in the hook, I don't just straighten and then go like this, but I really do a big and wide circle with my leg. So I do this, I keep turning, 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 turning. When I'm here, I'm kicking in this way and then kick back to the position zero. The position zero, how is it better? Some people prefer to do it like this, some other people prefer to put their knee a little bit wider, some people prefer to stay very, very small in the position zero, even with the feet very close. This is up to you. In my opinion, the best form is like a mix. It's kind of like this, not too close, but also not too wide. In my opinion, if you stay too wide, it doesn't look so good, but if you stay too close, it also doesn't look so good. But maybe it also depends from your body shape. I recommend you to film yourself while you do a six step or other footwork. Try with different forms and try to figure out which form looks better for you. The only mandatory thing is that you don't lean both of your hands on the floor like this. And even better, when you are in the position zero, stay with both hands up in the air. I tried to do one round of six step with my knees with the position zero very close, kind of like this. And then I tried to do it wider so you can see the difference and you can say which one you prefer. But maybe for you it could be different because my body shape is different than yours. Maybe my legs are longer or maybe they are shorter than yours. So maybe for me this shape could look bad, but maybe for you it could look good. It's really up to you. Now I try with my knees wider, like this. Again, for me, in my opinion, the position zero is very good like being in a middle position, kind of like this, not too wide and not too close. Another thing about the form of the one step and of the two step, during the jump, you can have different leg shapes. The two most common leg shapes that are used are just opening your legs straight, so from here, open. The second is folding the legs backwards, so from here, folding back, kind of like this. There is not like a specific rule to follow, you can choose your own form and shape. Some people prefer to stay small, so from here, just jumping small like this. Some other people prefer to stay very wide and very big and jumping more high. Some people prefer to push their hips up. So from here, push their hips like this up. Some people instead prefer to push their feet up, but the hips low. So the, e, the hips low, but the legs up, the feet up. This is really up to you. My tip for you is try different shapes Film yourself with all of these shapes and try to figure out which one fits best to you. I really hope this video was useful for you. If you need more help for your breaking, check out my Patreon link in the description. On Patreon you will find different coaching options or exclusive tutorials.
See you next week with a new video. Yo, ninjas!